Floyd's murder reopened old wounds about policing in our communities, and it left the city with new scars after nights of unrest and rioting. Two years later, WCCO's Reg Chapman shares how the city is still working toward healing. This is the hurt! This is the pain! Two years after the world watched video of George Floyd taking his last breath, the healing continues. I think there's depression and there's despair, and people don't know it's depression. Uh, they don't even know it's despair. You know, I think one of the things is this overwhelming sense of hopelessness that is permeating our community right now, that nothing is ever going to get better. Brian Heron is president of Zion Baptist Church. He says those feelings boiled over, leading to an uprising in the streets. Say his name, George Floyd. A collective cry for justice. So a sanctuary has become a place of healing from the storm created by the murder of George Floyd. It became clear to me that we could be out on the block and, and, and have an impact and make a difference and we can do the protests and things, but where do people come to be well and to process their pain, to process their grief. Pastor Heron believes two years after George Floyd's murder, some things have changed while others remain the same. I think we're still dealing with the trauma, but let's go to the other side also. This has really created some activism uh, and, and, and a uh, expression of optimism from a lot of our young people that they can make a difference and that they can change things. Now, Pastor Heron says he and other ministers can help people process their feelings and even guide them to professional help, but they must want to heal in order for true change to happen. Amelia. Thank you, Reg.